Tens of thousands of people marched in Raleigh, North Carolina, on Saturday to protest the far-right policies of the state's Republican government. The Moral March was an outgrowth of last year's Moral Monday protests, 13 weeks of actions against what critics call a Republican assault on poor people, the unemployed, voting rights, education, the environment, health care and women's rights. Protest organizer Reverend William Barber, the head of the NAACP in North Carolina, says Republican policies have forced marginalized communities to stand together. We have been called together to fight against a dangerous agenda of extremist laws by the ultra-conservative right wing that is choosing the low road. Policies that are constitutionally inconsistent, morally indefensible, and economically insane. It's extreme and it's mighty low to cut Medicaid for more than 500,000 people in a state of 1.7 million poor people and knowing that 2,800 will die. It's mighty low to raise taxes on 900,000 poor people and, and medical working citizens in order to cut taxes for 23 of the wealthiest families. Over 1,000 people were arrested in the Moral Monday's protests last year. Estimates of Saturday's turnout reached as high as 100,000 people. Reverend Barber ended his remarks with a tribute to the diversity of groups coming together to march as one. We are black, we are white, we are Latino, we are Native American, we are Democrat, we are Republican, we are independent, we are people of faith, we are people not of faith, but who, though they are secular, they still believe in a moral universe. We are people, we are natives and immigrants, we are business leaders and workers and unemployed, we are doctors and the uninsured, we are gay, we are straight, we are students, we are parents, we are retirees. We are North Carolina. We Protesters have rallied at the Charlotte headquarters of Duke Energy, the company behind one of the worst coal ash spills in U.S. history. Up to 82,000 tons of coal ash and 27 million gallons of contaminated water spilled into North Carolina's Dan River earlier this month after a pipe burst underneath a waste pond. The river has turned gray for miles, and environmentalists say they found arsenic levels 35 times higher than maximum set by federal regulators. The group Charlotte Environmental Action is calling on Duke Energy to stop storing coal ash near lakes and riversides and instead bury it in landfills. On Friday, Duke Energy apologized for the spill and pledged to clean up its toxic waste.